All right, guys, organite pendants. Now, this is what I've made. Um, so starting off, um, this is the mold that I have used. It's just a silicon mini muffin tray. And so this is what I've come up with. Now, they're all basically the same bar the front design and some of the crystals and how the copper coils are. Some of the copper coils are embedded in. As you can see there, they're embedded down in and some of them are not. So yeah, and the way they are bent, uh, the S is in a counterclockwise. So if you start in the S and you start unraveling that, it's counterclockwise, meaning that the energy is gonna come straight back through here and at you when you wear it on yourself like that. So that's the design that I've gone for here. So just different ways. So with these pendants, I've used, um, the bulk of it is al aluminum powder, and that's the silver, so all the gray, whatever. And uh, at the back is full of the aluminium and brass shavings. Very um, pretty thick in there for what it is. And yeah, just different designs. They've all got selenite, they've all got clear quartz. Um, uh, optional, like some of them have got hematite, some of them have got this carnelian, and some of them have got um, aventurine. So that's the green, is aventurine. You know? So some of them have got big pieces of clear quartz, uh, not a copper coil like that, but it's copper wrapped and it's always it's wrapped in a clockwood spiral. If you unravel that, it goes clockwise. So um, yeah, this is what I got. So this is going to be part one. Reason being, because they're fresh out of the mold. So you can see how jagged, like there's little bubbles and things in them, and that the edges are there's jagged edges there. I'll show you another one. You got this one here. Um, how jagged that edge is there. If you can see, see that's not good. So I'll get these all back. I'll make them slightly thinner because of the clearness at the back of it. You can't really see. I did that on purpose to seal in these shavings, but I'm gonna rub that back down so it's a little bit thinner. And uh, yeah, they're gonna look really nice. Now, if you see the finish on these are not very good. You can see all those dimples and stuff. You can see the bubbles around the outside there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you before and after basically. So part one, I'm just showing you and part two will be probably like with me, um, with sticking some of the bales on and, uh, yeah, how they'll look, the finished results. So they will turn out like this. These is some of the ones I do here. Now these are super slick, super smooth, super heavy too. Um, this one here is just all laid copper powder, copper coil, you know, you got your crystals in there. Same with this one, except it's basically brass or your brass powders in there very gold in color and you got your kyanite in there and stuff goes good with gold anyway so this is a pendant i've basically um i've done previously so this is what they'll turn out to be they'll they'll be this thick um in this one here you got the uh the metal emblem of the flower of life so it's all copper powder as well these ones here are all aluminium that's why they're gray and on the back we've got selenite, we've got clear quartz, we've got um, amethyst with a copper coil. So the S, the idea is for this one to wear it like that way. And that S is putting all the energy in towards you when you wear it like that. Just got to stick the bail on. Now previously I was making them this size as my very first test one. Now you can see there how thick that is. That's no good. So this is not going to be a pendant. Uh, this is just basically a mini one of these. And yeah, so that's just me showing you my way of doing it now a lot of people a lot of videos i see um a lot of people are making them where they're basically this round so a lot rounder than these and they're probably this thick if not thicker and you know it's basically like this but uh half cut that in half sort of thing and these are heavy you don't want this hanging around your neck you know so this size here is perfect like this is heavy enough you know so this is what i do so yeah, I'd like to show you guys the finished product when I do this, so stick around and watch that, and uh, thanks for watching.